Uh, we have a lot of leadership and guys that want to work hard and they want to get better and win. And then, uh, as a senior, uh, you play both sides of the ball. How have you been able to try to instill that leadership in the younger players? Um, so at practice, I just show them, like, uh, help them out when they need it and work hard and let them see it so they know that that's what needs to be done. And then, uh, we're almost at the start of the year, which means that the season's like a little bit less than one session. Um, what have you guys been trying to work on this offseason? Uh, we've been trying to get our uh, blocking schemes down, our route tree, and we've been, uh, we need to get our conditioning going and stuff like that. Like Coach has mentioned, you guys have three straight double in the season. Very, very impressive that you guys have been able to do that. Um, Um, yeah, we're just trying to uh, make everything click, all uh, leadership, working hard, and our conditioning is a big thing, so. And then, at the end of the day, for you as a senior, what are you trying to uh, accomplish uh, for yourself, personally? Um, I, I mean, I want, I'm a running back, so I want to have a lot of yards, but like, as long as we're scoring touchdowns, it doesn't really matter uh, who it is, but yeah. I think it means a lot to be able to help them out and show them what needs to be done to uh, win games and uh, have winning seasons like we have. Uh, we're obviously, our strength's obviously passing the ball, and I think that when we have time in the pocket for our quarterback, Owen Warner, to be able to throw the ball, he's really good at that. We take advantage of that. And we're almost at August, which means that we're all, already almost less than a month away from the actual season start. Um, what are some things that you guys try to work on this offseason going into? Oh, we we try to work on running the ball a lot more because we got Matt Somerset. He's he's really good at running the ball. He's worked on it a lot. So if we can get the run game going, it'll just make our pass game better too. And as a senior, um, what have you been trying? You yourself, you've been trying to instill um, into the younger class. Uh, I'm just trying to continue to show them the worth eth work ethic that the seniors before us showed us when we were little freshmen and sophomores too. And then, um, like Coach had mentioned, you guys have had three straight 10-win seasons. Very impressive that you guys have been able to do that. Um, what's one thing that you, that you and the rest of your guys on the defense have been trying to work on to try to get over that next step? Uh, we're big on watching ourselves on film so we can see what we did wrong and to correct ourselves. So if we see that, oh, we messed up on this play, we can go back and uh, fix it. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, uh, for you as a senior, uh, what are some things that you personally are trying to accomplish? Uh, I'm trying to accomplish, I just I just want to win. And I can do that with if that's with uh, getting tackles, getting receptions, or just blocking for my running backs. I'm just trying to leave behind a good work work ethic and just show them that you work hard, good things happen. Sure, so right now we are we are uh, doing pretty well the last six years. We have six straight winning seasons. Uh, we have three straight 10 win seasons. Now we've lost some talent from those last couple of years. Our, our state run in 2020, um, last year we lost some, some really good seniors. So the only good thing is we had guys that got to play last year because of injuries. Owen Warner, for example, um, who was forced into a quarterback role week two when Aiden went down. Uh, played nine games at quarterback, had 1,600 yards passing, 20 touchdowns, and he, he looks great this summer. He's really comfortable. Um, so we have, and skill guys back too, Brady Beal, Matt, Somerset, uh, Silas Loshi. So we have skill guys back and Owen back. Um, so the question mark's going to be the O-line, kind of. And so you guys had uh, a really good season last year. Also a great season before that. Yeah. Like you said, three straight 10-win uh, seasons. Could you describe to me the strengths that you guys, that you, uh, that you guys have? Sure. Uh, so, so my staff's done a great job of kind of setting the culture. I have incredible uh, coaches under me. My D coordinator, Scott Steiner, is unbelievable. I, mean, I can't name them all, but my, my entire staff is just, they, they, always, they make me look a lot better than I actually am. And then, and then our kids are so bought in with families that are bought in. 
So the last couple of years we've had kids with, uh, that, that are all in. They, they are the leaders. So the coaches on the field. Um, and, and like I said, the, the parents are supportive. Um, so we have a small, tight-knit community who loves football, loves Friday nights, to come out and support South Adams. And, kids just, and parents who support their kids and support the coaching staff, we've had, we've had a lot of success due to that stuff. What's crazy to me is that we're almost in August, which means that, yeah. <laughs> that, we're, that we're already uh, past the offseason. What, what are some things that you guys tried to work on this offseason? Sure, and again, it's, it's, we have a lot of, our O-line, a lot of question marks. Um, we bring back Murphy and Campbell at tackles. Uh, Troush at guard. We have some new guys. Gavin Myers play guard for us. Luke Bauman, a sophomore, will play center. So they've been working hard trying to get their blocking schemes down. Um, we're going to go with our quarterback Owen and our backfield. Um, but but I love this team. Uh, they're, they're not maybe not as talented as the, as the past couple of years, but they have an incredible work ethic. Uh, they're always there. They're accountable. Um, wait, to, wait to 7 a.m. They're always there. The leaders are there. The varsity guys are always there. The JV guys are there. Uh, practice, they're always there, and they're working hard. So it's, it's easy to coach when kids are bought in and work on their butts off all the time.